All right, all right. Welcome back. And I just realized my mic is really far away. <laughs> yeah. This right here. Sorry for that. Well, you can see uh, a couple of things have changed. Um, last time I said, oh, I'm going to have a bunch of videos coming out because of the weekend. And it's like, as it turned out, it didn't. So when I got this room all nice and cleaned up, I was like, okay, head to bottom. Let's cover this all to get as much as I can, which I did. But then I realized I put them down and it's like sometimes really hard to tell. I actually changed this, but it was like just like that. It's like, I don't know who's who. So I'm like, okay, let's do a corner, corner in. Good faith on this. So you kind of isometric. Isometric, and so I did like four or five videos of that, and I and one of them which crashed, so it was actually four videos I was actually recorded, and um, <laughs> my head was in the way. I'm like, oh crap! <laughs> so I thought, let's get an extra camera. Hello, <laughs> but it's like, yeah, um, this is not going to be the complete set. I'm still working on how to work OBS, so I was like. I have the, um, the big thing on the right, the smaller camera on the bottom left, and I'm not a person to show my face. I, I don't have another camera, so I'll just put a little background right here, which I'm just moving around. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so, and the funny thing is, though, the last, uh, those five times I played, which one was included in the uh, OBS crash, I still haven't beat Rubicon. I've always, I haven't even gotten to the showdown, and I'm going to try to do it at least two more times with just two players, but at a certain point, I'm just going to add a third player, because, a third mutant, because it's good, I have not been able to complete it. Yeah, you can kind of see, I wanted to show how I choose the random continents. I take two, one of the reds, so a one, a two, a three, and a power, and a, um, teamwork token and I roll one of these and this one always have all one of each a set of besides the um, magneto so roll the magneto is a re-roll so we get a three so we're gonna use this one we already have a three we have a one so we're gonna use this one and a power so we're gonna use this one so these two go away right here for now yeah. all right so put these two out let's see how's that looking on the camera because <laughs> I need to uh, pull this camera out a little bit more but I don't have the equipment and this is kind of like also a test run so there and any uh, like story related in the showdown is also going to be right here but yeah, story related, I'm going to move these and probably put it up here so uh, to be easier to see. But yep, yeah, it is what it is right now. All right, so we have, let's go get our mutants. All right, so we have Jubilee and we have X-23, which I think these are the last ones I played. I don't actually remember because it's been a while. But, oh well, those are also the ones I couldn't record anyway. So let's put the Jubilee and X-23. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these were the exact ones. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Alright. There you are. Feels so weird that I have to work around this camera that's basically next to my chest. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Alright, so it's been a while since I last played. Magneto makes his Solomon Proclam. Oh, I started at um, four because I'm on normal, and we pick one of these up. So let's go to Africa. Jewel heist. If mutant thief completed, complete one of the objectives here. All right. Reduce threat by two. One hero forms, forms a bond. And I also, I don't remember if I um, if I uh, did a rule wrong, and I think the correction was one of the ones I, uh, the videos I lost. But if you break a bond, then even if you don't have a bond, you still have a broken bond no matter what. All right. Rubicon. Magneto makes a solemn proclamation. Homo sapiens created sentinels to hunt us. Drastic steps must be taken, taken to ensure mutants have a future. 
During play, the first time a villain mission is put in the play face up, return it to the box and put the uh, Oculites and Magneto protocols in the play. All right. So we need to be very careful about that. So I think we need to um, basically work on uh, upgrading. So let's go ahead and grab a bond to the jewel heist. All right, Jubilee, you guys are going to flip over. Let's go X23 first. Two blues and a yellow and a blue. After your mission is completed, you may heal. You may turn one teamwork die to a power die. Oh, there we go. All right, so we have teamwork. We put that there. We have one power, but we want more teamwork because of that. So let's put this one. So let's re-roll these two. I'm going to keep this three. How's that looking? Yeah, it looking pretty well in there. All right. First re-roll. Oh, got a new um, new one. And this three and the two will be five. So we were able to complete it. Reduce threat by two. One, two. And they form a bond. This is the only bond they're going to get. They have discipline. Which is number six. When you are the active hero, you may exhaust this card and spend a power to satisfy any. Uh, any that's pretty cool. That makes uh, powers really good, which kind of sucks because we only only Jubilee only has one yellow. Well, she is the only one with yellows. One of them, well, two. One of them's with her uh, assist card. So we're not too uh, good on that but still I think that's pretty decent especially because you can turn this into a power result so actually that's not so bad oh no oh no <laughs> I need, I need to tighten that up <laughs> sorry I'm sorry I'm gonna get used to not doing that alright put this in the completed area oh so uh, that mission plays Reduce threat goes up. It doesn't flip missions. I kind of don't want to uh, get a villain out just yet, but we also need to do it quickly. So let's try to get some mutants. Let's go this way. Sink and ship. Reduce threats. All right. That ain't so bad. Draw and resolve a threat card. Bad press. If there's any face-up missions with one or more threat icons, raise the threat. Nope. We don't have any of those. So let's continue. That's not a threat, but we don't need a, a reduced threat, so I think we should just keep it there. All right, let's go ahead and move them to South America. <laughs> of course, of course it was gonna show up. I was like, it's probably gonna be a villain, <laughs> but that's fine. First time a villain is put in a flay and face up, return it to the box. So this is return to the box. And put the Acolytes 21A. And magneto protocols. Okay. Now the question is, since we're deployed here, when does it get flipped? Because this changes everything. Because we just can't be like here on an empty spot. Ugh. All right. Uh. Deploy to a face down. When it deploys to a continent with face down, it's set they immediately fit that mission top, leaving on top of the continent. Oh, so only one of them would show up. And then it, this would all go. But it goes away. <laughs> but it goes away during the, um, cause of, uh, the Rubicon. So we have new acolytes, which I know you guys can't see. But we'll change that when we're um, going to get to it. But basically it's one threat. Uh, and I, you know what, I think that's fine to let it go for now. The world's government has, and for the Magneto Protocols, the world's government has long feared the threat of Magneto's power. Unfortunately, their contingency plan spells doom for the peaceful mutants as well. Once per round before drawing a threat card, discard the top of its threat. So this is basically means we're going to go through this really quick. And I just kind of realized... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, it's not capturing the table camera or overhead camera's uh, thing. It's just capturing the meter mic. Cause that, oh, that's good. I was like, wait, this is, I know this has a speaker into it, but it should, shouldn't be using it. All right. 
right. Um. Well, this sucks. That's a lot of power, which X23 is probably not going to be able to do, to be honest. But she's going to have to be deployed somewhere, and I think Jubilee's stuck here in no man's land. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I guess so. Let's put her here. All right, X twenty three gonna have to do this by yourself. T two and a red and a blue. A lot of teamwork. All right, so she has at least that. But we can't do that. So let's re-roll all of these. Holy crap! That's four magnetos. Holy crap. Let's just re-roll this entire thing one more time. We need to at least get one of these so we don't have to increase threat. <laughs> Alright, so we got um we got one. And that's as far as we do, we have no power. But I would uh I put a uh, success on it, but discard failure, discard a success from this mission or raise threat. We don't want to raise that. We just want to keep it there. So we'll just take away what we did. Da da da. Raise threat by a number of icons. Raise by one because of this. So we flip one. We don't flip one of these and we draw one. The first one gets thrown out. The second one gets thrown in. Most objectives. Well, there's three objectives and three objectives here, but honestly, I don't want to add more to this than there already is. So let's put the sentinel right here. All right. So as we go back to the blackbird, everything's goody, Danny goody. All right. Let's go do the acolytes, which I'm going to put right here for now so you guys can see it decently. So we're going to go to the acolytes. All right. So, that's a lot of uh, strike that we need. We're definitely going to need to use that discipline. Alright, so, X-23, you have two red, two blue, and a yellow, and a blue. Reroll one, showing a strike dice. Oof. That ain't so bad. You only need so this can be whatever you want. Well, you're active, you may spend this card to spend it to satisfy any one requirement. So we could satisfy this for four. That's actually not that bad at all. So we're going to reroll these two, and I'm thinking this could turn into a um, a power dice. So yeah. We'll use Jubilees to turn this one to a power. It doesn't matter which one. And then that means bam, bam, and then you use the discipline, bam. Now back there we need two twos. So we need to do all these. Even if it's just these, we need to still do this. All right. <laughs> we have three. We just need another strike. So let's try it again without a Magneto this time. It's last turn time. And still nothing. Wowzers. <laughs> I just needed another strike. That's all I needed. <laughs> oh well. So, we satisfied one. We really hope Jubilee will be able to do that, but I think she can. So, Jubilee has a red, yellow, two blues, and a red and a blue. Alright. I wanted uh, X23 to get her since she can heal, which is unfortunate. So she has a three, put that there. You may turn one die showing teamwork to a strike die. So this is going to be a two. So bam, we did this. So she gets hurt for one. So that, let's, let's take one of these out. Oh wait, we already did that. Now we have a two, and we have a power, which we can use discipline to uh, cover this. And she gets hit, hit again. So, 
that bites. Reduce threat by two, one, two. Put Magneto's ultimatum into play, then place this card underneath the plot. All right, ultimatum is 23A, and this is where I always get stuck. <laughs> so, this goes underneath Rubicon, just like that. Let's just put this here, because I'm not gonna flip that anyway. And was there anything else? Yeah, nope. All right. There is nothing else. All right, we go thre uh, by threat. And because of this, threat goes up by three. One, two, three. All right, skull gets over. First one gets discarded. The next one is a sentinel. Fewest icons. Well, it's the only place it can go. This is the worst part because Sentinel, she keeps it attached to this. I can't do it with just two people. I need at least three people on there. This is why I think this is like really hard with just two people. All right. Well, we're both going to go to here, try to figure, uh, finish this off. This is like my sixth, seventh time trying this with two mutants. <laughs> Hopefully I can actually roll good this time. All right, let's go X23 to go first. Red, red, blue, blue, yellow, blue. We don't even have to worry about the discard immune because we don't have the immune to discard. All right, this ain't bad, but that could be better. Let's go and put to here, to here, to here. Uh, we need a teamwork. We can use this to satisfy one. So we'll use this to be a satisfying one. We just won't know which one. Do I? Yeah, we need more teamwork. So let's reroll this. All right. So two two goes up to here. That go. Oh, that'll have to go right here. Shit. <laughs> Oh, I want to do another line. This could be either this or this or this. Well, no, it can't. Oh, no, it can't. It can satisfy anything. Let's reroll again. Okay, so we have not anything. We don't have crap. Literally, we don't have crap. <laughs> so we only discard the Sentinel and... Here we go again, because then another sentinel is going to come, and then another uh, red, yellow, blue, blue, red, blue. We're not going to do this. Jubilee is going to get hit by two again. Uh, ones. I need threes. I don't know why I want to even use this. You can use that. You can use the power. Oh wait, we can turn use X twenty three to use this to a three. So we can use discipline to get rid of this and this right here. So the only one we can do is on the top. And we roll one more time. Uh, I should keep the, I don't remember which one it was. Oh well. Oh, we had a three. Not that it's gonna do anything. It's, this is almost impossible to do without three heroes. <laughs> two heroes. All right. So we all take both take two damage. Well, she only takes one because she'll heal it. Jubilee is almost dead. <laughs> and to go back. Goes up by three. One, two, three. This goes on top. Vicious scheme. Great. So... This gets replaced, and that, that means all that work I just did is gone, and I don't think it's going to be possible. All right. So, all right then. All right, X-23, you're going to go here, and Jubilee, you're going to go to the danger room. Heal two damage. 
Let's get something that we need. We need strikes, but that's all three strikes, so we need uh, teamwork. Let's go get a teamwork. You can also use that teamwork to um, change it to a snow. That's only a strike, so. All right, X23, you get red, yellow, two blues, and a yellow and a blue. All right, so power, we have a one, let's re-roll it, we need a power, we don't have power, but we have a teamwork, go right here, let's get another power, because that's all we need, all right, we have a power, so sentinel goes away, that gets on it, but discard it or raise threat. I don't want to raise threat, so that stays like just like that. All right, so this goes up by two, one, two, and then up here, Sentinel, most icons, which go right here. All right. Oh, yes, I already did that. All right, so we group phase. Let's go to both here because we need to do this. Let's go Jubilee first to take out the um, this. So Jubilee has one red, one yellow, two blue, and a red and a blue. All right, that's pretty good. We have a three. It does that. We have a teamwork. We have a power. Another teamwork. We have a bam. And so and then we can use our discipline. Satisfies any one requirement, which goes right here. Bam. That was pretty good. Alright, so What next? X23, two reds, two blues, and a yellow and a blue. Magneto effect. Discard one yellow or suffer two damage. What can we do? Well, we can use this to satisfy this. <laughs> She'll die if I do that. Uh, and this two, and she takes the damage. So we did that one on the bottom. And this, turn it to a power dice. Discard one yellow, which we mean we discard this, which we don't want to do. Or I could just put this here, cut there. Discard a yellow to reroll. We got power. <laughs> well, I can put this right here and use Jubilee's ability. Roll well, through to a three. Nope, not gonna happen. So, did the bottom one. Each here discards from this. Each here discards from this mission. So this gets it was both goes away. Or suffer two damage. It's not so. Here they go back. Oh, well, they don't go back just yet. It goes up one two. Flip this goes to red. Top one goes away. Bottom one surprise attack. Place a story mission with the villain. Which can only go right here, so now we have a juggernaut, and it's basically game over at this point. <laughs> we're not going to be able to, we're going to keep this, flip this up, and it goes one, two, three, four. Then we have to go over here. One of them has, one of us has to go to um, Xavier's office to clear it to go down by two, but we won't be able to do it with juggernaut because it goes up by six or four with these two because it's not possible. So, yep, this is the um, game.
Rubicon once again beat my ass. Always ends up with uh, Magneto's ultimatum because you need three, 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 and yeah, that's <laughs> that's really really hard to do. And um, so next time. I'm just going to play with three heroes instead of two because I think it's impossible to do this with just two heroes. With three heroes, there was times I might have been able to get through this. But, uh, yeah. This is going to be my, what, seventh or eighth try? I, I'm lost count at this point. That's because of all the lost videos, too. But, um, yeah, I um, quite enjoyed this. Um, this drives me crazy right here. <laughs> Especially as soon as you get a sentinel attached to it, then it's like, yeah. <laughs> we also had that interesting um, issue over here. Now, a quick thing about this uh, uh, this extra camera right here is that this is not only going to be used for uh, this game, but it's also going to be used for um, miniatures games too. So instead of just seeing it, like when I tried to do the um, aliens. Uh, board game it was kind of really hard to see everything plus all the characters so I was like okay I can use this or this thing right here to um, make a thing so you can see the board and then we can actually have the overhead camera look at more of the um, information see the whole thing so you have close up to the board and the whole overview view and um, yeah, so for this one, it's kind of hard to do, especially when we add more characters, because I'm going to need it zoomed out a bit more. And I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. I was hoping this would be farther away, but uh, yeah, it's not going to be able to do that. It's not going to be able to do that. Ah, excuse me. I'm probably going to have to buy a little attachment to put it, um, actually bring it up a little bit even more. And it's going to be on my face. I'm going to have to go, huh? Huh? <laughs> but um, yeah, that what this is the... Um, eighth seventh time on rubicon and uh, i'm sick of it <laughs> i'm just sick of it by now so uh next time it's definitely gonna be three and yeah i just hit the uh, camera <laughs> all right see you next time